Well, hi, and welcome to my uh, geology lab. I'm back to investigating my mystery rock. You may have seen my short three-minute video about this rock and my curiosity about what it is. So, I thought it might be interesting to determine the uh, density of the rock. That might help me identify what it is. Since I saw you can easily categorize uh, different kinds of rocks by their density. And I think this thing is pretty darn dense. So it may go some way to eliminating what, what it may not be. So let's do a few measurements here. Okay. Okay, so the rock, I'll just write this down here. The rock itself is 31 grams. Okay. Yeah, measure that. Back to zero. Yep. Measure that. That's the uh, margarine container. Wow, that's almost as much. Hard to believe. 27 grams. Really? I guess so. Wow. 31. 27. Okay. Now we also want to measure this glass here. 163. 163. It is grams, isn't it? Yes, it's grams we're measuring. Okay, so now I have to go and fill that glass with some water. Okay, so I have the glass full of water, but for this to work, it has to be really full of water. I just have it on this plastic thing to catch any overflow while I do this. It's just ordinary tap water, nothing special about it. Okay, so that's actually over the top. It's perfect, except now I have to pick it up. I have to pick it up here. Oh, get the measurement. Ah. Okay, I think, I think I can do it this way. This up. Don't spill any. That's, that's the uh, margarine container, the glass, and the water together. Can you kind of see that? It's three, 345. 345 grams. Okay, now I'm going to take the stone. Drop it in the water. Okay, here we go. Oh, it doesn't break the. I won't break the glass. It should start overflowing as soon as I'm putting it in. Wow, look at how much I can get in there before it overflows. Unbelievable. Okay, that's not good enough. Where'd the water go? I'm not for sure I had that filled up so it's overflowing. No, it's not, is it? It's a little bit below. I got fooled. There. Yeah, that's just actually, it's actually bubbling over the surface just a bit, so that's how I want it. Okay, new measurement, 351. And I'll drop the stone in. Okay, now I gotta take the glass and the stone out spilling any water. Yeah, I can 
spill a little bit because there's a fair bit left on the glass here. So I want all the water that got displaced to go into that container. There, I spilled a little bit extra. That under. That's accurate. Now that's science at work. Okay. And the number is... Number, the number is, the number is, whoops. The number is 39, 39. So I'll write that down. That's margarine plus water is uh, 39. Okay, so I, I think I did, I probably did a little more, made a little more, made more measurements here than was really necessary. So the empty margarine container was 27, and with the water in it, it was 39, so that's 12 grams. So 12 grams, 12 grams of water displaced by the rock, and the rock was 31 grams. So you can already see it's something like 2.8. Do long division? Oh my gosh. No, I don't think so. So, you know, 12 out of 31 is pretty close to 10 out of 30. Uh, give or take a little bit. So it's like 2.5. Now I gotta go look at my, uh, I gotta find a list on the internet and see what kinds of stones are around 2.5. But this is nowhere near uh, anything too interesting. <laughs> I think that's the best way to put it. Uh, there we go. That's my uh, geology for today. Okay, so I just uh, consulted with my experts, Mr. Internet, and uh, he told me that at 2.5 or 3, uh, and not density, but specific gravity, which is what is uh, compared directly to water, this is an average stone. Stone. Come on. Well, it still has magnetic qualities to it, so I don't think that's average in that sense. But it sure is not a chunk of metal, that's for sure. Well, the mystery carries on. <laughs>